So I seriously can't get enough of this bubble pipe. <laughs> it's everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> Oh, hey, thanks for joining me today. Welcome to Classy Corner. This is the corner where we contemplate the finer things in life. So I thought it would be really cool to have a section of this channel where we talked about the nicer things in life. Luxury goods, luxury travel, that sort of thing. Because, you know, everyone has goals that they want to work for, experiences that they want to do. And, you know, that goes above and beyond just your everyday sort of thing. So I wanted to start Classy Corner where we can talk about those things. And if you guys have watched any of my videos in the past, you know that when I like to do something new, go someplace new, that sort of thing, I like to get a pair of shoes to commemorate that sort of milestone or adventure, whatever it may be. So for the inaugural classy corner here, I think it's only fitting that I get a pair of shoes that I have wanted forever. So let's take a look at those. saw the unboxing and didn't skip through it, you know that to commemorate the start of Classy Corner, I got a pair of 1953 Gucci loafers in the brown. Now, I really wanted the 1953 ones because they don't have as high of a heel and I really like that because it's just a more natural feel than like the Jordan loafers or the, the standard Gucci loafers. So I, I really wanted the 1953 and I also like that in the 1953, the branding is very minimal. That fits with my sort of ideal of classic prep, or I guess nowadays people call it old money, where you just have quality garments that are made in the best way, but not very flashy. And that's what I kind of strive for with my clothing. So to not be super flashy, but have the best quality thing that I can get. Two years. They didn't have the brown. They only had it in black, and that's a that's a bummer because that's more dressy to me. And I'm not gonna wear a black shoe everywhere, but I can wear a brown shoe every single day. So very thrilled that they came back in stock. And you know, with something like this, you're probably not wondering, oh, is it worth your money? Is it worth uh, all of that? Because you're you're buying something that is made in Italy, you're buying the name, you're buying the heritage, all that sort of stuff. But I will say you won't be disappointed. They're very nice. The leather is buttery smooth. They're comfortable right out of the gate. The bottoms are great. I love the addition of the nails in the toe cap there because it just makes a little clink, clink, clink when you walk and it's a nice little noise, but it also is supposed to prevent uh, wear on the very front of the foot. That's why they do it. But really cool. They look great. They feel great. Nice addition of the little rubber in the back because loafers that I have that don't have that, oh my gosh, are they slippy. I will say one thing, I kind of wish there was more leather on the inside because the leather lining, if you see, it's just the footbed, not even the whole footbed, just part of it. But, and I, kind of get that they want to do that for 
summer. So when you're sweating in your loafers, you've got some cloth in there to kind of absorb things so your feet aren't all gross. But I do wish they ran up the sides on the back and the heel because it feels better when you have a leather lined shoe like that. But whatever, they're not gonna listen to me. They're gonna do whatever they want to and people are gonna buy it because it's a Gucci loafer and it's like the standard for horse spit loafers, right? But that's just something that I noticed. Now, I think we should really get to some B-roll so you all can see all the really cool details. that super sexy b-roll i know i did i love looking at these things even better wearing them though but i hope you enjoyed this i hope you enjoyed classy corner and i hope as we come across more of the finer things in life we can share those together all right as always i hope to see you out there bye <laughs> this is great this is my favorite thing i've made I've seriously wanted one of these, like a classy smoking pipe that was actually made out of wood, but uh, blue bubbles ever since I was little and I saw, I think it was Gonzo on the Muppets of Sherlock Holmes with a wooden bubble pipe. And I was finally like, you know what? I should just make one because I can't seem to find one to buy anywhere, right? So I did. I bought a real wooden smoking pipe because I didn't want to make that part. But it wasn't as straightforward as I thought. I thought I was just going to be able to, you know, dip it in bubbles and have it work. But that didn't happen because it's too wide at the end. So it's more like you're trying to blow a bubble like this. And it just, it didn't work. And then the mouthpiece that comes with the pipe is also too wide at the end of it to give it enough pressure to blow a bubble. So what I had to do is I took six millimeter plastic tubing and I ran that down in the pipe and then pointed it up here so it would blow out the top and then you know you just have a clear plastic pipe and it doesn't look good or tube so I took some epoxy putty and sculpted a rear backing piece that looked more like a real pipe and then even doing that, it still didn't work quite right. So I had to take a bubble wand and I cut off the tip and then I put epoxy around that and stuck it down inside the chamber of the pipe right here. And then I added a little top so obviously it wouldn't fall down too deep. And now I can just dip it like a normal bubble wand and use it. <laughs> so great. Like, I'm so excited I did this, but you know, I guess we can add this to the end of Classy Corner here as well, because this is a very classy endeavor. And now I can just take and dip it in some bubble solution and... <laughs> this is gonna bring me so much joy. I love this thing. <laughs> All right, see ya.